We are now in the Musée des Arts Décoratifs, which is a part of the Louvre Palace. And somehow, we get to build our own studio here. I also remember walking around with Chris when we were teenagers in the Tuileries Garden and seeing, like, looking at the building and seeing, like, I want, I want to be here one day. So we ended up in this incredible studio. The reality is when you make music, it's hard for to find a studio that looks good, is in the middle of Paris. Usually you have to travel far. This is the Louvre. It's like if you ask me, have you ever driven a car before? And we have a Rolls Royce now. When we make a new album, we, we try to, to live a, a different experience. We change our gear, we change keyboards, we change the way we record, we change, we change the location. It's a big part of it. Basically, that's, the, that's, that's what we are trying to, to do, just create a new, a new palette. It's always hard to nail what exactly influences the and the location with the music, but this is how it works, you know, just make sure that we don't work in the same place as we used to, to make something new. The acoustics were <laughs> the, the, yeah. the biggest challenge. You're in a world of marble and huge spaces. It was easy to create music, but it was tricky to fine tune it. Especially if you visit museums, you see, you know, you see a museum through the eyes of someone that's presenting things to you. Uh, during the pandemic, it was it was a mess, uh, and that was inspiring to see that our studio was becoming the storage room to all these paintings and sculptures, and and they were not presented to us by someone. They were in a joyous mess, different eras, different, and it's a little bit like we when we make music, we do it a little bit in that way. We are not cautious about what we use. We used drum machine samples, real drums from you know, Monteverdi samples from 16th century, and then the newest software for, it created a little bit this album that's a Frankenstein. Uh, the reason why certain songs exist on the album, because they are little, they are, there's a song called Winter Solstice that's very isolated and very heavy. And that's around that time that we wrote that song that, you know, you, you're not even sure if you can connect with people anymore. And you're in the place that's visited by, millions of people every year. If you're trying to go today to see the Mona Lisa, you won't even be able to see it because there's so many people in front of you. Once things opened, it was a different kind of inspiration. It was a different relationship with the studio. All of a sudden we enter the door, there's a crowd of people and then you push the last door and you're on your own in your small space. They make honey here. So there's, there are bees on the roof. We went on the roof one day and this guy who opened the door is like, don't upset the bees. And we thought he was kidding. And then we, you're realizing you're surrounded with bees. The more time we spent here, the more we felt like the museum was talking to us. And the more we felt like we were becoming part of the, you know, of a painting. But this is definitely something we'll remember because of the amount of time we spent and we spent extra Usually an album is it's long for us, but this is this was even longer. And uh, no matter where you go, you have to pass. You 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 walk next to it.